This video is sponsored by Zugu Case, seller of Amazon's top rated iPad cases. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to show you guys 10 hidden features for your 2019 iPad or the iPad Air. So let's dive in and discover some amazing hidden features. Now, the very first one has to do with your notes application. So let me launch my notes application. All right. And as you can see over here, I have a secure note. If I try to access this note, it says this note is locked. And of course, if I want to view the note, I'm going to have to tap on it. I'm going to use my fingerprints or my password to log in and view what's inside the note. Now, let me show you how to get that done. So let me just go to this note over here. All right. And let's say I want to lock this note and make it secret because I have some sensitive data inside the note. All I do is tap this share button over here and right over here, it says lock note. So when you click on this for the very first time, it's going to ask you to pick a pin number and even ask you if you want to use your fingerprint for this functionality. So in my case, I already have it set up. So when I tap on lock note, it's going to give me a lock symbol on the top right here. It says lock added. And then I have to tap the lock button and that's going to in fact lock that note, make it secure and nobody can access that but you. If you ever want to unlock it, you either tap on view note or tap on the icon here and it's going to ask you to put your password in. You can tap on password, put your manual password, or if you tap it again, it's going to allow you to put your touch ID in and that's going to reveal the note. So that's fantastic. And real quick, in regards to this tip, if you ever want to change your password, you go to settings. All right. You scroll down uh, to the notes settings right over here. And from here, you can go to the password and make modifications to your password to lock and unlock notes. All right, let's move on. Before we dive in, a quick word from our sponsor, Zugu Case. If you have an iPad, you deserve the best case for your iPad. It's a case I chose over all the other cases and happens to be Amazon's number one case for the iPad with maximum customer satisfaction. The Muse case for the iPad by Zugu has an industry leading drop protection. So your iPad is protected. If it drops has a powerful kickstand, unlike any other reinforced by magnets. So it doesn't wobble around or collapse under any setting, whether it's on a table or on the bed. And the kickstand itself has eight different viewing angles to choose from, which is fantastic. It also has precision cutouts for all the ports on your iPad, as well as a slot for the Apple pencil on the rear. Finally, the powerful magnets built into the case can allow it to be hanged over your refrigerator if you desire or any other metal surface, which allows to easily follow recipes or watch movies while cooking. This is an extremely versatile case with built with high quality material. So links to the Muse case for the seventh generation iPad is down below. But if you have a different iPad, Zugu offers a version for any iPad you own. See the links down below if you want to check out the best iPad case on the market right now. Now, the other tip actually also has to do with your notes application. So there might be notes that are very important to you that you want to see all the time, but you don't want to scroll through your list to find them if you have a long list. What you can do is you can go into any one of these notes, all right, and then tap on this icon again, and you can pin that note to the top. So you can tap on this. And now that note is going to be pinned all the way to the top, as you can see. And you can do this with multiple notes, no problem. Now, if you ever want to unpin a note uh, from this pinned section, if you don't want this to appear on the top, you tap this again and you simply unpin that note and it's gone back to where it belongs. All right. So that's pin and unpin. Now, the next feature I'm going to talk about has to do with your Safari browser. So when you go to Safari, uh, many times we open a lot of tabs and we have all these tabs. And so many times we forget to cancel each tab to reset the Safari browser. So we could have tabs from 25 days ago still running in the background for no reason. So what you can do is you can go to the settings. All right. You can scroll down to Safari and then go to the tabs section right over here and then go to close tabs and say you want to automatically close the tabs after one day, one week or one month. So if I pick after one day and if I forgot about these tabs that I have that were open right here that I'm not even using anymore, right? They will just automatically close after one day, which is great. All right. So let's move on to the next tactic. The next thing has to do with your control centers. So if I pull this thing down right over here, 
Now, as you know, or may not know, you can press and hold to expand the functionality of each one of these uh, control toggles. Uh, but what you have over here uh, with the newest updates, if you press and hold, it's gonna expand. But if you press and hold again, it's going to in fact expand even further and give you more detailed information on each one of its uh, of these tabs that supports it all right so as you can see if i turn this on and if i press and hold it's going to expand it's going to give me a list of all the wi-fi's and i can do some functions over here now if i ever want to go into the full settings all i do is tap on wi-fi settings and they'll take me into the full total menu all right now, one thing that's built into your iPad, in fact, is the screen recorder option. Normally, it should be right here, but if you don't see it over here at the bottom, you can enable it by putting it in there. So all you do is you go to the settings, all right? Then you go to the top and you scroll down to control center and go inside and then tap on customize controls. And then over here, you have all these controls you can enable. And here's the screen recording option. You click on plus, and now when I pull this down, you'll see a recording uh, button here that allows you to uh, record your screen. So let's go to the home screen. What you do is you pull this down. You can either press this to start the process or press and hold to expand it and you get the option to uh, start the process. So you can tap on record, uh, start recording and real quick, if you're recording a tutorial, you can even turn on the microphone. So if the microphone is turned on, as you record, it's going to record exactly what you're saying. So I'm going to turn that off for now. I'm going to tap on start recording. It's going to do a countdown, three, two, one, and the screen has started recording itself. So everything I'm doing right now is in fact being recorded. So let me just go to the settings, come back out, and on the top over here, you'll see a red icon uh, bl uh, blinking. So if you tap on that one, it's, uh, it's going to allow you to stop the recording when you're done. So when you stop it, and when you stop recording, the whole thing goes into your photos. So when I go to the, my photos right here, uh, that thing is going to be playing right here, as you can see. All right. So that's the recording that I had. And I can play it uh, in my photos album. You can upload this. You can send tutorials. You can make tutorials. So that's the screen recording option right here. All right. Now, the next hidden feature is very important because it allows you to block certain applications from being used by other people. So if you have apps on this home screen that you don't want every other person to use, if you give your iPad away to somebody, maybe your kid, maybe your wife or whatever, uh, you can block certain applications. So you wanna go to your settings, all right? And on the main settings screen, you wanna scroll down and you wanna go to screen time. Now there's a lot going on here, but our concentration is gonna be on the content and privacy restrictions. So you go inside, but I do recommend before you go inside here, make sure you set a, a screen time passcode, all right? So if I tap on this one, let me just make a quick password here, 000, simple, just to show you guys. Now, when I go inside, I can go to allowed applications, and then it's gonna ask me the passcode that I just created because it makes sense. And then from here, I can disable all these apps from being accessed. So if I turn this, mail, safari, camera, maybe iTunes store, maybe I don't want people to buy stuff on my iPad, maybe kill the bookstore, podcasts. And then if I go out, those applications are in fact disappeared from the screen. You do not see the camera app, you do not see Safari anywhere because you block them from being accessed. So let me go back into that, that menu here, okay? Go back to content and privacy restrictions, go back to allowed apps, apps and just put the password and you can re-enable them as you please. Now that's one thing you can do and there's even more. Now, let's say you give your iPad to your kid and the kid goes into the app store and starts to buy stuff all over the place. So you can actually prevent that from happening. You go to iTunes and app store purchases, all right? And simply uh, say that you're not gonna allow installing new applications. You're not gonna allow deleting applications, all right? And you're not gonna allow in-app purchases. So if you have this one, nobody can purchase anything or even delete apps from your iPad. So if I press and hold this one right here and tap on rearrange apps, I am not able to delete any application. That's fantastic. Now, if I go back in here real quick, go back to content and privacy restrictions, allowed applications, no, uh, iTunes and app store purchases, let's go inside. Uh, take a look at this. Now, if I allow deleting applications, and if I go back outside, 
And if I try to delete application now that they're allowed, I can in fact do so by uh, clicking on this button, the X button, as you can see. All right, let me just delete this application as an example. Gone. Okay, you're going to wonder where your application went. So make sure you disable these things if you are concerned. All right, let's move on to the next tactic. So let me just pull up the Safari browser here and let me just pull up the keyboard. Now the keyboard has different formats that you can use. All you do is press and hold on this button and then choose the option you want. Okay, you can do a floating keyboard so it's going to be easier to type with one hand as you can see. And when you're done with this, you swipe back into business. You also have the option to split your keyboard into two. Again, if you're holding your iPad with two hands on each side, you can type just like this. And if you want to go back, you press and hold and you just tap on merge. All right. And you're good to go. Sometimes when you merge it, it's going to be floating. So you can simply go and say uh, dock. So it's going to go right back into business. So that's the keyboard. Now the next feature I want to talk about is pretty cool and this is for people that like to go to sleep listening to music. But after you sleep, you don't want your music to continue playing. So what you do is you go to your music application and let's say you just start a music, okay? I'm not going to tap it because it's going to start playing, but you tap it, it starts playing the music, then you go back out and you think to yourself, in 30 minutes, I'm, I'm going to be asleep and I want the music to stop playing so it doesn't kill the battery or whatever. So you tap on the clock, you go to your timer application. Let's say in 15 minutes, you want that uh, song to just, uh, the songs to stop playing or 30 minutes as I just used in my example, 30 minutes. Then you tap on when timer ends in 30 minutes, simply choose stop playing and then set this and start. And in 30 minutes, it's going to stop playing whatever you have in the background, whether that's a video or a music file or whatever. And that was the final hidden feature I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, make sure to let me know down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day and do not forget to check the Zugu case for these new iPads.